Hello, and welcome to round two of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of April 11th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. Usually on this podcast, we talk about parenting issues, but once a week, Catherine and I like to get together to discuss TV, movies, books, and other entertainment topics because it's nice to talk about something other than parenting for a change. This week, we started two newish series, uh, Bridgerton Season 2 on Netflix and The After Party on Apple+. Plus. And uh, Bridgerton is just like jumping from serious uh, historical costume drama to completely frivolous historical costume drama. Although many balls, balls seem to be the the uniting factor of this in the Gilded Age. So uh, balls, balls all around. Their dresses look a little slightly more comfortable, but uh, still. Um, Yes, when they have those on pier waists, like those, that whole... Hides a multitude of sins. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Do they still have to wear corsets with those? I wonder, or can they just move move freely? I don't think so. And you know, I mean, what would much... be the point? You can't. Yes. You can't see. Yes, yes. The 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 gowns look considerably more comfortable, except there is such a lot of. Um, what do we call it? Cleavage pushing up. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That was it. That was a very nice PG way to say it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that look that always looks so uncomfortable to me. Yeah, like, that's that's where all the uh, constriction is yes. going. In, Especially, in these you know that if you don't have much, they are pulling skin from every which way. <laughs> <laughs> Boost you up there, so it yep. looks like you do. Get those going. Get them moving. <laughs> that's right. Up, up, up. <laughs> oh my goodness, I could pass on that. But uh, <laughs> so. Uh, you know, uh, I I felt like this episode, which was called Capital R Rake, speaking uh-huh. of rakes, speaking as we have been recently, uh, and that would be Anthony, Anthony Bridgerton, yes, the the uh, eldest son, the boss of the place, or so he thinks. Though his uh-huh. mother is rather amused by that, I believe. Right. But he has to deal with all the bills. He has to deal with all the sisters. It's all the responsibilities on him. So, of course, he must find himself a wife, but not just any wife, a absolutely 100% grade A perfect wife, right. uh, which that'll go well. So, yes. And, and perfect in terms of, you know, she has to be beautiful and have good childbearing hips. He did right. specify that. <laughs> um, and, you know, be smart and blah, blah, blah. But well educated. It's not about does he love her it's yes. it's does she have all these things yes. so we of course now know that he's going to fall hopelessly in love shortly <laughs> yes well he did have a meet i guess we would call that a meet cute with a yeah. mysterious woman as he was riding his horse and mm-hmm. originally he thought that her horse had run away and then she neatly jumped over a bush and really he realized that she was in charge and I guess somewhat racing him. And of course they immediately sort of get off on a, well, I like you very much, but I also hate your guts sort of. Yes. (laughs) And then that only got worse when she overheard him elucidating his many qualities in a wife and was extremely offended. Um, And then he set her, his sights on her sister and she's not going to have that. Not because she has any feelings. No, no, no save her sister from this terrible man right from this and capital so. r rake she and doesn't even know that he's a rake because she's new in town so yes. um, and so from here we can pretty much follow the plot outline for the rest yes. of the season but uh, that's fine i have no problem with that that's what we're here for <laughs> and uh the uh the young lady who shall be his sparring partner is yes. quite up to the task and mm-hmm. uh quite delightfully no nonsense and yes. also looks good in uh dress gowns so <laughs> Good luck to her. Her and name her sister, is Kate, and her sister yes. is Edwina. Her sister is very soft and sweet looking. Right. And uh, will be just gobbled up by some gentleman, no doubt. But she is not the one for Anthony, we are fairly no. certain. <laughs> I think that's been laid out. Make yes. no mistake. Right. And we have the very, the whole plot of um, uh-huh. the... Second sister, the Eloise, reluctant debutante, the reluctant debutante Eloise, <laughs> is just like, please don't make me do this. Yes, um, it's 
just so much fun, you know. Yes. She she gets saved by Lady Whistledown from at her official debut. <laughs> right. Uh, the paper comes out, Lady Whistledown's paper comes out just at the moment where she's being presented to the yeah. queen and she gets to just <laughs> hightail it out of there. So she's yes. very happy. Yes. And there was one terrifying moment where she feel, felt feared she might be the diamond of the season because she made the queen laugh. But yes, whew, that, thank goodness. <laughs> that Edwina terrible was burden the diamond. passed over her to what's the sister's name? Edwina. Edwina. Mm-hmm. Good luck with that, honey. <laughs> um, and we see that the fe- feathers, feathers, Featheringtons, Featheringtons. That's rather more uh, syllables. It seems absolutely necessary for sure. <laughs> they, they're going to have to. They're going to have to sell a couple of those syllables to. Uh, yes, to they have to keep no money. <laughs> they're, mm-hmm. they're now the Feddens. But, yes. Okay. Well, the Featheringtons are. You know, after their uh, father was. How did how did he meet his demise? I know he was lost all his money. It, did it he dispatch may, himself all of Mr. Morris, or did he, he may just have. croak? No, I, I, I think it was a. I I do believe he he pulled a Mr. Morris. Yeah. Well, uh, so now they are in a bad way, and and the one horrible daughter, who is betrothed to a not terribly promising young man, is without a dowry. And his pay- parents are getting impatient. Because so, they want to get rid of him. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So, no, <laughs> go kids, <laughs> go away. Um, possibly they could chip in on the dowry. No. Right. Um, and they, a la Downton Abbey, are awaiting some long lost yes. male heir um, <laughs> because obviously the the daughters can't inherit anything yes. and even the wife cannot. Um, no. So, so some randos coming over from America. Oh, no. And huge surprise, not some doddering old dude, but an eligible oh, looking fella. That's right. Because we don't got enough of them. And his very first task is to pay the dowry. So <laughs> goodbye yeah. to that character. Exactly. Because we won't be seeing her anymore. That actress is what? What? No, wait. wait. <laughs> and off to the country they go. Yes. But that's okay because the other sister is awful enough for the both of them. Oh yes. And poor how how is how is Penelope like in that family? I know I don't know. Did the postman stop by <laughs> one day when Mrs. Featherington was feeling bored or what? Because yeah. she does not seem physically or intellectually or emotionally of a piece with her family. No, no. <sighs> Maybe we didn't really get to know the father that much. He seemed like <laughs> I mean, he seemed like a nice enough guy that he just was in over his head. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Interesting. But she is continuing her uh, clandestine activities as Lady Whistledown. As Lady Whistledown. Uh, And uh, And we know now she has a she has a good Irish accent. (laughs) Maybe she's really Irish. That actress. I think the actress might be. Yeah. Yeah. we will check that out for future episodes, but uh, yeah, she's stealing away in the night many, many times to go take her stuff to the printer, mm-hmm. which, um, okay, I'm sure. Well, nobody really pays that much attention. To That's her, right. So she yes. Everything works because she is ignored. Yes. But now Eloise is putting a fly in the ointment by hanging out with her at dances right when she needs to be she never like used to go to but now that she's going out. to them mm-hmm. um she's you know getting in the way of uh late night carriage picks up pickups yes. and such she's also dissing lady whistledown and suggesting that she should be doing something more than simple gossip which honey simple gossip is what everybody wants that's what simple gossip the world sells. Go around friend yep but so now she's she's trying to make it a little more I don't know, insightful, mm-hmm. challenging of the norms. Right. That's not going to go well. <laughs> Your queen will not enjoy that. No. So anyway. The queen seems to have given up on her her last season quest to, you know, she was determined to find out who Lady Whistledown yes. was. Yes. And she even told Eloise to find out. Right. Her. That's why she remembered Eloise from all that. Mm-hmm. Um. 
but she but. has she didn't she didn't do it. It didn't seem like it would be so very hard. Yeah. Uh, you know. Get I I guess uh you need you need to have the same uh same lucky accident that benefited George Russell on the Gilded Ages. Somebody just needs to hear somebody doing something right. that you know cuz cuz the Pinkerton guys you fired Queenie are not going to do the job for you. Mm-mm. Um but uh Anyway, so the now the one who's off traveling, Colin. Colin. He's Bridgerton. the one who Penelope is in love with. Correct. And that actor was maybe unavailable, or is he going to possibly he'll pop up later? I feel like he'll show up at yeah. some point. And then the the younger brother that is there. The second there may, brother. There may be tiny younger brothers, but the the. Yeah, the second brother. He's the, the one who's the one's... artist and who was having the fling with the dressmaker. Yes, I believe so. I would have thought the older brother was the one who was having all the flings that there were in the last season. Wasn't he just kind of, that was his storyline? He's just sleeping with people? Yeah, I I thought, um, the, wasn't this, was the second brother gay? I know he was, he was, he he was, he was in a place where there were people who were, but I don't, I don't remember. Yes. I kind of thought that too. I'm so confused. I'm sure they will let us know. They'll let us know. (laughs) And that the dressmaker was at the the, like artists club and that's where. No, I feel like somebody had a, somebody had an affair with her, but maybe it wasn't him. Well, the, the soprano was like, friends with her oh okay. who knows we can't we'll f- we'll find those them. boys sowing their wild oats we can't mm-hmm. keep track of them no we can't was it the same same woman that uh, anthony was given his pocket change to every time or i, different? Think, I feel I like that tell. might have been a series of different <laughs> <ones>. <laughs> it kind of felt like it but it was they were always sort of in the distance and my eyesight isn't that good so yeah doesn't uh, they might as well be the same person it doesn't really matter right but uh, one actress in different wigs, maybe. <laughs> Save them some money. That's right. We have all these balls, you see. All right. So many balls. Um, so it will be interesting to see how this goes. I am. I feel like this is a quicker start than the last one, which took me two or three episodes to get into. Mm-hmm. And then I was into it. Right. And I don't think it's just because people got naked. I think I just, the plot line picked up. Yeah. And from what I've heard about this one, it's it's less naked than the last. Yeah, that's who was it? What did we listen to? That was a review of it that said there Pop was Pop Culture Happy Hour. Yes, not mm-hmm. enough uh, forking. To use the <laughs> yes. complex word. Exactly, which is why we watch it. But um, actually, I didn't listen to the Pop Culture Happy Hour one yet because I was afraid we have spoilers. So it was something else. I think maybe mm. it was mentioned in passing on uh, Extra Hot. Grape. Extra Hot Great. Could be. So like it was an around the quick around the dial. Uh-huh. Well, good start for Bridgerton. Yeah. Pretty sure how it's going to end, but and there will be little mix ups in between. And yes, Eloise, just calm down and accept your fate, babe. <laughs> Find a bookish boy. It'll right. be fine. Uh, and so then in a completely different sort of uh, perplexing social situation, uh-huh. we watched the after party which is on Apple Plus, and we watched season one, episode one, titled Anique, which is the name of one of the characters, and it appears Mm -hmm. that the structure of this enterprise will be that every uh, week, the detective will, um, not every week, because we don't do weeks anymore. Every episode, I'm sure these all got dumped at the same time. Every episode, uh, the, the police detective will be interviewing another person at this house party where some famous dude fell off a balcony right um and you know good riddance but uh yes the detective played by tiffany haddish yes and uh, who i who i have heard much about and never seen in anything and she's delightful she is very funny in this yeah she's super funny and did you and we got um Ben Schwartz. ben Schwartz <laughs> being very, very, very non John Ralphio. John Ralphio. And uh, did you catch Tia Sarkar? I did. Yes. Uh, as one of the pregnant gens. <laughs> yes. Um, so that was fun. I did. That Tia was Sarkar fun too. from The Good Place. Yes. Vicky. Who played Vicky the Demon on The Good Place. <laughs> so. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah so there is familiar faces here and there. Right, mm-hmm. right. So this was fun. It's mm-hmm. it's um you know, I think it's it's a lot like a knives out or yes. you know that kind of a show. Um just sort of silly and yes. <laughs> um and yes there's a murder but right. um, it it all hinges on a bunch of people who went for their what high anniversary reunion which reunion was it was i it think two? it was 15 15 year reunion right because it was 2006 i think they graduated class of right. 2006 uh and this anik who's the focus of the first uh, episode went mm-hmm. because he wanted to see if he could rekindle something with Zoe, Zoe, his erstwhile chemistry partner from high school. And, right. but she has a violent ex-husband who is also in their class. And she has this very, uh, I guess, supposed to be actor, singer, weird silver haired dude named Xavier or Xavier. He allows you to pronounce it either way. Right. Um, kind of, kind of hitting on her too. And it just gets very, very complicated. And they go to an after party and uh, at Xavier's house. And he winds up falling. Xavier finds up, winds up falling off the balcony or being pushed off the balcony or possibly being thrown off the balcony. Cause he's really obnoxious and uh, you know, died on the rocks below. So uh, as the police come and then they're going to interview each of these participants. Uh, but Anik appears to be just a really good dude who was just trying to connect with this girl and it keeps going wrong until finally he passes out from drinking too much for courage. And when he wakes up, I, it, he feels that everything was already done, but somebody else heard him go up into the room and say, oh no, mm-hmm. but it was just, he saw that they had painted his face. Right. He's having a bad night, that dude. Yes. You got to feel, you got to feel it wasn't him, except then, of course, it could be a twist later on. But, uh, right. He's, he designs escape rooms for a living. <laughs> yes. Which I guess is a thing that people do now. Yeah. I guess that, that must be somebody's job. Mm hmm. And, uh, and I don't know if all the episodes are going to have this, but, um, the way Tiffany Haddish's character, the detective, mm-hmm. you know, says, to um all the characters like i want you to tell me what happened you know in your own words everyone's in their own movie right so tell me your movie so Mm -hmm. with um with anik it was kind of like a rom-com situation and there's this other like super weird woman who uh hers was all like they briefly focused on her and did and it was like this very artsy black and white situation. Right. Um, so, yeah. So it's going to be, it'll be interesting to see if the slide, you know, how the style differs each week. It's right. a fun, a fun idea. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Are we really going to get, how many episodes are there of this? Eight? I think there's eight. Yeah. Okay. So it's not going to be, I think there were more than eight people there. Maybe not. Yeah. Like I wonder if this, how we had this brief shot or this brief you know, movie from this woman, Indigo. I don't know if that's it for her. Like if she gets to have her own yeah. additional movie later or well, if that was it. It will be interesting to see. Right. Actually, we could probably just look on, on IMDb and see exactly. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend that because okay. I did. I did Spoilers. They're not exactly, but you, <laughs> yeah. You just, just don't. No, just, just go along for the ride. ride. Just watch. Yeah. Just watch. Yeah. Just, just enjoy. Watch. <laughs> so, well, so anyway, uh, not too much to talk about because this is just the beginning and right. because each one is going to be from one person's viewpoint. Um, but uh, fun cast, mm-hmm. fun idea. Yeah. Um, and, you uh, know, it's the, what do you call it? Like the locked room. Yes. Mystery. Or exactly. Whatever. So I could see how this could be really fun and I could see how this could get old quick. So <laughs> this will be the suspense for us is right. which, which movie will we be watching? All right. <laughs> but uh, we do know for sure that uh, the uh, violent ex-husband Brett is going to get his own episode because in fact, next week's episode that we're going to watch episode uh-huh. two is entitled Brett. Uh-huh. And then on Bridgerton, uh, episode two is entitled 
off to the races. Yes. What, what could that mean? <laughs> We've seen people on horses. Yeah. So we will look forward to watching those and discussing them with you next week. And that is going to be it for our round two today. Please subscribe to our Parenting Roundabout podcast so you won't miss any of our episodes. We have something new for you every weekday. As always, you can find recaps, links, and an opportunity to comment on our website at parentingroundabout.com. Goodbye, Catherine. Bye, Terry. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.